How's it going, everybody? Um, hope everyone's having a good day. I'm Joshua Alphonse, um, developer advocate at ByteDance. Um, I'm here to represent Hei Xiao uh, today. So he can make it today. So we'll have our uh, video that was pre-recorded for you uh, on um, data workloads and web services on Kubernetes to improve resource utilization. Now, Hei Xiao is one of our senior engineers at ByteDance uh, for one of our open source projects called Kubeorf. And he'll be speaking a bit about that here. So um, if you have any questions, I'll uh, upload our QR code as well here that you can come to our Discord and ask some questions uh, for Heisao as well. And I'll be able to relay them to him. And you can also connect to us on LinkedIn. So thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is He Cao. Today, I'm going to share a topic titled co-locating data workloads and web services on Kubernetes to improve resource utilization. I am a senior software engineer at ByteDance and also a maintainer of the Catalyst project. First, I will start by introducing the background of co-location. ByteDance's practice of co-location arose from the challenges we encountered during capacity planning. As shown in this image, the resource utilization of online services exhibits a tidal pattern with very low utilization during the night, which leads to huge wastes of resources. Through an analysis of different types of workloads at ByteDance, we found that online services utilize CPU intensively and are sensitive to RPC latency, while batch jobs have high memory usage and prioritize throughput. That is to say, the resource utilization patterns of online services and by jobs are inherently complementary. Therefore, it naturally led us to consider co-locating online services and batch jobs to improve data utilization, resource utilization. Practicing co-location requires fine-grained resource management capabilities. So, we have incubated a resource management system called Catalyst. The name Catalyst is derived from the word Catalyst in chemical reactions, and the K symbolizes its ability to provide enhanced automation for resource management for all workloads running within the Kubernetes ecosystem. If online services and the data workloads are deployed on the same node, they may, there may be mutual interference between them. Therefore, the first step we need to take is to classify different types of workloads into various QS classes. From this table, you can see that we have defined four extended QS classes. The first one is dedicated cores which means it has exclusive access to some CPU cores and does not share them with other workloads. This Q's class is suitable for some extremely intensity-sensitive workloads, such as ads, search, and recommendation services. The second one is shared cores, and the workloads with this QS class will run in a shared CPU pool. This Q's class is suitable for workloads that can tolerate a certain degree of CPU throttling and interference, such as microservices. The third one is reclaimed cores, and the workloads with this QS class will use overcommitted resources. This QS class is suitable for workloads that are not sensitive to latency and prioritize throughput, such as model training and data jobs. The last one is system cores, suitable for critical system agents to prevent interference between workloads of different class classes. We introduced multi-dimensional resource isolation, including CPU, memory, disk I/O, and the network dimensions. In bad dance, with more than 900,000 deployed nodes, and tens of millions of cores under management. Catalyst has improved data resource utilization from 23% to 60%, saving hundreds of millions of dollars in costs. 
Here is the context community and my contact information. We welcome everyone to participate in community contributions. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me for discussion. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Um, I'll put back up his QR codes as well. Um, so you can copy it. I don't know why this thing won't move. Here we go. <laughs> um, should have disappeared. But uh, yeah, please connect with Hey Sao as well. Um, and we also have another QR code. If you have any questions, yes. <laughs> Just quick. So is this Project Cube Wharf or is this Project Catalyst? Oh, good question. So Cube. Sorry. Yeah, so the, this project, the project he's speaking about is Catalyst. Um, Cube Wharf is a combination of different projects um, that we have on our organization. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we also do have a Discord um, server as well. So if you'd like to come and connect with us on Discord, you can. Um, and this is where you can learn about all of our open source projects at ByteDance. Thank you. <laughs>